Hey Zips fans, Chad Walker here with head men's soccer coach Jared Embeck and coach you just went one and one last week in Mid-American Conference play. Georgia Southern getting a victory last Thursday. Georgia State uh, get coming in with the victory on Saturday. Just uh, final thoughts of, the, of those two games. Yeah, you know, first game I thought we were fine, played well, and you know, probably score could have been even bigger than it was. And uh, I thought we were set up well for Saturday. I think. You know, Saturday, obviously, everybody's frustrated and disappointed with what happened, but, you know, there's some things we did well. I mean, I think what, you know, in hindsight, looking back, uh, having so much of the ball and a lot of possession and some early chances with, without really giving up anything kind of made us lose focus, lose some balance. And then, you know, we gave up the goal and pretty much our first shot they had. Um you know, I thought we came out second half, same thing. We we had an opportunity right away, and then second shot, second goal. And, you know, I think that's what we got to learn from. If we have long spells of possession where we're playing well and teams aren't getting opportunities, that we still got to stay focused in the back, still be tough when we have to deal with balls in behind and in the box. And, you know, this day we didn't, and, and you know, they were pretty clinical and punished us harshly. And, you know, we had some of the things that that's been happening lately creating chances a lot of good chances and not finishing them and you know that game we have to pay the price for for all those things happening but you know i think i think you can see a lot of things are trending in the right direction overall with how we play you know the lineup and now we just got to continue to take some of these lessons even though it's a harsh one um to learn it losing but we still got a lot of good games in front of us and a lot of good opportunities Got to give a, a credit to Diogo Pacheco, who scored in the last two games. Uh, his game has definitely really turned on. He's becoming more and more valuable to you. Talk a little bit about him and uh, what it means when he puts the ball in the mat back of the net for you guys. Yeah, I think he's one of the best players in the country. And, um, you know, as long as we have him going, we know we're going to be able to score and create chances. And eventually we're going to get, get other guys going, you know, Ryan and Shooky and – you know, you've seen it from Dyson at times. I think we're going to continue to get those guys. Once those guys hit the back of the net, I think you'll see their confidence jump in and, and you know, we'll be off to the races. You face two Big Ten opponents this upcoming week, starting with Penn State tomorrow. Uh, what are some of the challenges the Nittany Lions are going to bring to you? And then not looking too far ahead to Michigan next Monday. Yeah, you know, Penn State, I think, is on a little bit of a roll here, and they're going to bring in some confidence. You know, they're uh, – undefeated in Big Ten play, so it's a big match. Um, look, they got their front five, have scored a lot of goals, and they work well together, and we're going to have to show what we did against Georgia State. We're going to have to buckle down, and we're going to have to really defend well and defend the box well. And then, you know, I, I have a lot of confidence in our front half to cause problems, and, and, you know, hopefully if we defend well, we can put those guys in situations that uh, help us win the game. Uh, Michigan, you know, same thing, Big Ten team. Um, you know, I think they got, you know, the reigning, I think, Big Ten midfielder of the year, and they got some talent in the attacking half. And, you know, I think it's going to be a game where we got to be balanced and play both sides well. And, and, you know, it's like it was at the beginning of the year when you play these good teams. Uh, it could go either way. And on the day, the team that's more balanced, has more energy and focus, will probably win. Appreciate the time, as always, Coach. Thanks for the insight. Fans, we want to see you at First Energy Stadium tomorrow, 7 p.m. against Penn State, and, of course, Monday, 7 p.m. against Michigan. To get your tickets, call or text 888-99-ACRON. For the Zips Digital Network, this is Chad Welker. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, go Zips!